back to my channel ladies today i am going to do a heatless curls tutorial featuring the shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie um, i absolutely love this product i got the product a long time ago but today i just decided to use this with my spiral curls and it actually made the perfect hairstyle i love this product i cannot rave enough about it so the first thing that i'm going to do is start off by sectioning my hair so the essential products for this hairstyle is going to be the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and my, my ORS Olive Oil Mousse. Now you can use any mousse that you prefer. Um, it doesn't have to be by um, ORS exactly, but I do suggest you getting a mousse that is alcohol free. I'm also using shea butter and some coconut oil. So with the coconut oil, I use that more so for shine and the shea butter uh, just to hold the moisture. Um, those products are optional because I find that the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie just really held the moisture in my hair so my hair was really soft and moisturized for several days. So if you just want to use the Shea Moisture, that's fine. Now, the trick to getting the defined form of the spiral curl is you have to actually wrap it around the perm rod. Now, I learned this trick from when I used to have to curl my hair to get more of like a ringlet look when I had my crocheted hair sewn in my hair. So what you wanna do is wrap it around. Wrap it around the perm rod. Now, if it's easier for you, I kind of use more of a twisting method where I twist it around and um, I twist it around the perm rod. So that really helps me. That's more of like my little um, method, but if it helps you to just like, um, to go ahead and just wrap it around, other than twisting it then that's fine I kind of picked up the wrapping around method after I got the twisting method down it just kind of came natural to me but that definitely is the way that you achieve that perfect spiral curl as opposed to having like just a, a regular like roller curl or a Shirley Temple curl this is more of like a sophisticated ringlet if you will so that is the trick to getting that look And um, as you can see, this ringlet did not quite make it to the perm rod, but um, I did go ahead and just leave this clip in for you so you can see how this actual method gets you that ringlet. I mean, it's not fully developed, but as you can see, if you were to do a Shirley Temple curl, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have had that form. You would have had to wait. You can automatically see what this method does for the curl. It already gives you like that form. It's not fully formed into that spiral curl, but it has somewhat of a ringlet form. So I just, I really love this method better. I just love the ringlet. I love the twisting method. It's just, it's just way better for a spiral ringlet versus like a, a roller set curl. And I'm using pretty much different size of perm rods. I have a really small one, some medium sized ones, and then I have um, some, like the color is gray, white, and pink. So when you go to Sally's, take a look at those colors. If you wanna, if you have medium lip hair like mine and you want to um, style it the exact same way. I did let my hair dry overnight, so I did sleep with a bonnet. A satin bonnet and I slept I slept with a satin bonnet. I slept with two bonnets actually. They were both satin. Now I'm just taking my hair out of the perm rods. And as you can see, a beautiful, beautiful ringlet spiral curl. It is just gorgeous, hunty. Gorgeous. I did go a little heavy with the shea butter, so I will say if you are going to use the shea butter, 
please go lightly because um, it kind of shows up in your hair once your hair is dried and you're, and you're ready to take your curls um, or if you're ready to take your hair off of the perm rods. So definitely go lighter on the shea butter. And um, so now I'm just kind of breaking them apart so I can get more volume, uh, just have a little bit more fullness with the hair and just have like that really big hair that I absolutely love. And I am using some sweet almond oil for a little bit of shine and just to, well my hair is already soft but I just wanted it even softer so I'm just adding this. And um, now I'm using a pick to just give more volume and just to like pick out the roots a little bit just you know just make it really cute just big hair got it can't big, go big or go home right like I just love big hair and um, I will not be doing anything with my edges because I am on a journey to love my edges all of my hair all of me so if it is in its natural state and not smoothed down that will be okay with me besides that I've done a lot of damage in the past to my edges so I will not be manipulating them in any way shape or form now I was able to get I'd say about six to seven days out of this hairstyle I do have a picture of day two um, skip a few days and I have day five a little video clip just showing you kind of the curls are kind of starting to um, lose its form but I still loved it. it was like that wild kind of curly big hair I just absolutely loved it I still got compliments on it even after um, the curl started to kind of um, lose a little bit of shape but I absolutely love this hairstyle so I really hope you ladies enjoyed this video um, you can always connect with me on social media I'm on Instagram Facebook check me out on my blog and if you're not subscribed please subscribe what are you waiting for okay ladies i will see you in the next video bye i am doing the maybelline dream matte mousse foundation i'm so excited to review something today because i haven't done a review in a long time i was a little oily around here so i'm just gonna place it over my skin right now and I am going to apply it with a foundation brush to one side of my face. 